Dimitar to push our imaginations far into the future, which cosmologists like to do, generally about the, uh, the universe itself. But let's talk about intelligence, whether the intelligence is, uh, is life in other, uh, other planets and other stellar systems or life on Earth. If we would go ahead uh, a billion years or 10 billion years, uh, what, what do you see as the far future of intelligence in the universe? The far future of intelligence, let's uh, break it down a little bit. Let's think about the far future of life. What can we say about the far future of life uh, in the universe? Well, we can say quite a bit about the dynamics of the universe into the future. Uh, fortunately, because we see so much of the past, we can extrapolate the dynamics into the future. How galaxies um, develop into the future, you can just keep li simply roll the film into the future for quite a bit. Uh, we have a sense of how the uh, star formation rates will change into the future. Cons consequently, we have a sense of estimating and extrapolating the planet formation rates into the future, even the composition. Uh, for example, the balance between oxygen and carbon is changing into the future, the production mm. of metals and so on. These are all trends which we can project quite a bit into the future. I would say not even a billion or 10 billion, we can project them to 100 billion mm. uh, years into the future with very good fidelity and understanding. Now, of course, we know so little about life. Uh, we have only our system that projecting that is difficult. But let me point to one aspect of life here on this planet. It's extremely resilient and robust. It has inhabited so deep into the crust under the oceans and in every possible niche that the environment allows that it takes a, a, a enormous astrophysical calamity short of literally throwing the earth into the sun to get rid of the entire biosphere that has developed here on earth and that was true for life starting um, already a billion years after its origin we see this, this in the geological record that it's prevalent everywhere in all the possible niches of the earth that's a microbial form of course so life appears to be resilient but then on the other hand is essentially chained to the planets and to the, the planet's fate. And that fate is determined by the fate of the star. And that's limited. For the sun, it's another five or so billion years. For other smaller stars, it could be 10, even 100 billion years. The red dwarfs last for a very long period of time. So that tells you that unless it's life around planets, around small red dwarfs, which are very prevalent, by the way, then there is a limit to how much microbial life can endure at any given location in the galaxy. So then it takes the complex life that is capable of surmounting its uh, place of origin. And of course, we have shown feasibility here. Uh, humankind has shown that the biochemistry on Earth is capable to going to essentially taking itself, putting itself on another uh, cosmic body and coming back. So that essentially gives you the possibility that biochemistry one, once emerged on a planet can transcend the lifetime of its parent star. Essentially it can transplant itself somewhere else within the lifetime of the star and escape that demise. Uh, that requires uh, technological intelligence and that is your question, what is the future of the technological intelligence in this universe? Well, the future is good if uh, that kind of intelligence is common, because we see a universe in which more planets are going to form, more planets with heavy elements are going to form, like the Earth, and uh, the stability of the environment, meaning the galaxies and the stars in them, is going to continue for hundreds of billions of years. And so what are the implications of that uh, for uh, the broad uh, nature of intelligence in the universe? Is it something that would, would emerge just out of Earth uh, or would it be on other, other places? Uh, I mean, do you see a natural trajectory so that 10 billion years in the future, the, one way or another, the universe would be populated with, with uh, life? If we take the example... Intelligent life. 
yes, I understand that we are talking about intelligent life here. But again, if we take the example of the resilience of the microbial biosphere on this planet and its ability to develop into complex life, which then can leave the planet in principle, uh, that tells me that the future is, is really quite clearly in favor of wide distribution of the phenomenon. You have more heavy elements. So, so look at the development of the universe in those terms. You start with the universe which has no planets and no heavy elements. Then you create environments for complex chemistry, which are essentially rocky Earth-like planets. Then you continue creating those planets beyond today. But already on one, you have shown an example of where that complex chemistry can take place and become resilient to the point where no supernova explosion, no gamma ray burst, no asteroid hit or anything that can happen on that planet can destroy it short of the star itself going off at the end of its lifetime. But we have intelligent life which can transcend that or at least the potential to transcend that lifetime. So this means that you have the sequence of events in that universe, which tell you that if that distribution hasn't happened yet, it is bound to happen in the future. Because as one of my good friends in Caltech used to say, if anything is physically possible in the universe, it happens somewhere in the universe, it's so big. So if we have shown feasibility by going to the moon, it means that it can happen again somewhere else, if not here again. And are the natural consequences, therefore, one way or the other, through Earth or through other places originating it, ultimately the universe to be filled with life? The answer is obviously yes, because we see a dynamical universe which will continue essentially in the same state with the same kind of galaxy distribution, the same kind of stellar and planetary distribution for a very long time into the future, much longer it took to come to today. Mm -hmm, sure. So then um, anything that we can project and extrapolate to the future will work even better in favor of life. And if we don't see it in the past of the universe without telescopic observations, it is partly because we are so close to the beginning and so much happened from the point of that beginning to today. And so much less is going to happen from today to 100 and even 200 billion years so, into the future. So much more. So much less. So much less is going to happen? See, if you take the 14 billion years that uh, have elapsed so far, you have a state which we observe directly in which there is only hydrogen and helium and a sprinkling of lithium. That's not the universe we have today. Right. No galaxies, no stars. Then you have a state, which is the dark ages, when you don't have any stars, and the hydrogen and helium are just sitting there for a while and slowly clumping, thanks to the dark matter, into the first galaxies. And then the first stars come off. And they're very unusual stars. They're stars which are made only of hydrogen. So what you're saying is that the future will not have as many dynamic changes. No, a lot of those uh, ah. dramatic okay. changes right, right, right. are only uh, happening in this universe so you, once, so you and they a, already happen. So you have a, st a long-term stability. You have a long-term stability. So that you can have more of, of the development of intelligent life. If you take snapshots of the universe uh, 50 billion years from now, 100 billion years from now, 200 billion years from now, it will be very difficult to tell the difference from the snapshot of the universe you have today. If you take snapshots of the universe, uh, 5 billion years ago, 10 billion years ago, 12, 13 billion years ago, you have dramatically different images. Right. And so the stability is what will, in the future will give, will give intelligent life more opportunity to fill the universe in the future. Yes, you have much more time, yet no dramatic changes to act as a showstopper.